Evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, uh, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day's trading session, the Monday, the 23rd of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, actual market movements, let's just bring up the stats for you folks. Uh, let's see exactly where we uh, stand. In terms of the European session, certainly mixed, to say the least. Okay, you had the FTSE down 47 points, the German uh, DAX down 84 points, the CAC down 30 points, and the stocks uh, basically 600 more or less flat, but the IBEX was certainly down as well. Now, Asian markets, you had the Nikkei down 250 points and the Shanghai higher. So, certainly... Um, a mixed uh, set of set of uh, obviously uh, reaction there in terms of uh, uh, Asia to uh, to Europe. Now the European market certainly under pressure due to number one currency movements, given the fact that Mr. Trump is very protectionist. Obviously sent the uh, the dollar lower, okay, based on obviously growth fears and trade fears, etc. Given his uh, rhetoric, fiery rhetoric, okay, he's actually cancelled the TPP as well. And that certainly isn't well, just certainly doesn't bode well for the Aussie or the Kiwi going forward in terms of growth. Now, oil prices are certainly under pressure as well, with rig counts that are certainly increasing in the US uh, and also uh, the uh, potential uh, oil supply data or the oil supply situation in terms of Iraq arguing for a, a long term objective. Okay, so uh, and again, obviously, with TPP dying as well, uh, protectionism on the increase with Mr. Trump's rhetoric. That doesn't obviously bode well for demand uh, in terms of oil okay going forward so again that certainly is a risk averse uh, trade now number one the fx so we have the euro usd breaking through uh, the 107 barrier okay we have we've had the uh, uh, gbp usd almost touching the 1.25 barrier and therefore hurting exports okay so a weaker dollar uh, is obviously resulting in the gbp usd and the um, Euro USD moving higher, and thereby our European equities certainly have been hurt due to that. Okay, then the other factor we had in terms of economic data as well uh, the economic data for today we had uh, consumer confidence data weaker than expected for Europe uh, itself. German inflation forecast to rise to 2% certainly doesn't bode well. And again, like I said, it's all about Mr. Trump. His fiery speech on Friday in the inauguration certainly triggered off this potential. Uh, uh, whirlwind sell order okay and uh, you are looking at uh, weaker equities okay okie dokie now in terms of uh, technicals let's see exactly what the technical picture is given the fact that the fundamentals certainly remain bearish the German DAX okay so uh, German DAX in a daily chart we've already uh, we certainly are holding the resistance at 11640 11650 okay 60-minute chart at the moment uh, certainly has flush going into the close uh, the uh, lower high certainly is in at 11.650 and now we're looking to potentially test the uh, support below at 11.430. So watch out for support at 11.430 folks in terms of the next move for the German DAX. Okay, especially with inflation rising in the euro above 1.07, 1 certainly doesn't bode well for the German DAX going forward. In terms of the French CAC, same sort of philosophy here folks. Okay, daily chart at the moment certainly remains vulnerable. There is some support in this region at present. Well, that can certainly break at any time too. 60 minute chart at the moment you have this HNS formation, so just be wary of that. You do have an unfilled gap below as well at 4770, so certainly a possibility of being closed. 10 minute chart basically has gone back down to double bottom. Okay, double bottom certainly has held at 4805 before we started to rise again. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up a chart for you and give you an insight here. Okay, so the FTSE daily chart at the moment certainly wants to close the gap at uh, 7 uh, 120. We did actually hit a pivot low at 7 130. Whether or not that's a low is still debatable. 60 minute chart certainly has a bear flag formation. Again, like I said, that unfilled gap is uh, open at 7 116, and we certainly need to close that immediately. Okay, 10 minute chart certainly has held double bottom at 7 130. Okay, looking to potentially short and looking for that 7 116 level. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of the FTSE. Again, if that 7130 is your pivot low, then you are going to see a substantial increase in the FTSE. But sterling strength certainly will deny that. Just bear that in mind. The daily chart certainly piercing through, uh, closing that potential uh, resistance level. Okay, so again, uh, the four-hour chart and sterling certainly demonstrates the stellar rally that we've seen thus far. 
up to that 1.25 handle now there is resistance coming up to uh, an up and around that 1.2510 so much of a resistance if the sterling starts to move lower than that certainly will help FTSE to a large extent okay uh, and again the focus remains on mr trump as well and his antics okay uh, he could certainly trigger a uh, sell-off at any time so just be wary of that and always keep your stops in place okay so again FTSE my target at the moment i'm currently short looking for that 7116 gap to hold or to actually close and then we'll sort of have to reassess and see where we go from there uh, at present it certainly is currency weakness with the with cable and the euro higher hurting exports in the eurozone on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com and uh, certainly visit trade signal for the latest signals and market updates goodbye now folks